To conclude the first part of the flight mechanics lecture, I think it is useful to summarize what we have learned. By drawing a free body diagram and a kinetic diagram of an aircraft in a general situation, we were able to derive the point mass equations of motion. Two variables in these equations, the airspeed and the flight path angle gamma, describe the state of the aircraft. After analyzing the aerodynamic forces and the propulsive force, we were able to describe these as a function of airspeed and thereby essentially making the equation simpler. We saw that the aerodynamic drag force as a function of airspeed has the following shape. The power curve is simply aerodynamic drag multiplied with airspeed. In the same graph, we can also draw the thrust or power available from the engine. For a pure, simplified jet engine, the thrust can be assumed independent of airspeed. A typical simplified propeller shows a somewhat different behavior. Propellers with a variable pitch system can be assumed to have more or less constant power available as a function of airspeed. The diagrams that you see here are called performance diagrams. Because of this different behavior of jets and propellers, we normally use the force diagram for jets and the power diagram for propellers. Now you will see next week that these diagrams combined with the equations of motion will allow us to do many aircraft performance calculations.